Now I want to make it so in our game settings, when we select a map and press OK, I want it to update this image to the most recent map, as well as our host current map variable to be updated to the latest map selection. So the way this is handled in World of War, let's say I select the very first map, press OK, it shows up here, and I go down to Der Reese, press back, it doesn't update, but if I go back to game setup, it's still selected, so it has the most recent selection. We're going to follow that same format. So let's scroll down to our, where is it? Here's our OK. So when OK is pressed, what we will want to do is, let's see, we get our scroll box. I want to do this right before it's actually set. And I'm going to give it some space. All right, so we're getting our scroll box that holds all of our host map list, well, our map list. We're going to get, or what is it? So there should be like a selected index or something like that. Hmm. All right, well, apparently not. So I might have to change how I do this. So what we're going to do is create a new variable under info. Well, info for the category. Let's call this one temp map selection or temp host. Let's call it host temp mass selection. Just make it easier to see on the eyes. It's going to be of type map info. And out of curiosity, what are the other settings? Ah. All right, so host temp map selection. We're going to actually set that by default as well. So we're going to set it and plug it directly in. Just link them right across. And plug them in. It's just so that way it has a, def or a uh, default selection. Right, so when... set host settings is selected what we're going to do is set host temp map selection let me actually clean this up we're going to set it then we're going to set the other info so let's just triple check like that. So each time I click a button, this function should be called and we should be setting host temp map selection. And then when we press back, we do nothing. So that stays the exact same. But when we press OK, what we're going to do is get the host map selection. We're going to set host current map to it. So now that becomes the official selected map. And then we want to get our lobby. So our I host map image. We're going to set brush from texture, make it match size. We're going to break. It's not what I was trying to do. I'm going to break our current map. And just plug it all in. And set our widget. 
so it should update. So map two, okay. It updates to map two. Change it to map one, hit back. It does not update, but we still have map one selected. So when I press okay, it updates. So, not steer on Toten, to rise, back, game setup, okay, it changes. All right, so functional or functionality wise, we are now the same. So, we have that set up. Now we can just, that is actually a good bit less space than I thought it would take up, so I'll push stuff back up. Um, you should actually be at the top. I'm not sure why this was at the bottom. This is to view our game settings. All right, so we're good to go there. So what we've done is now when we click, I thought I broke solo for a second, host game, everything is set by default. We click map two and click back. It does not update the actual map that we have selected. But when we press OK for the, you know, map two, it updates the map image and host current map. The one we're going to be loading is going to be set to pretty much our temporary map selection, which is this here. Only when we press OK, though. Right, so that is set up and that is good to go. So I'm going to stop it here and I'll see you in the next one.